I think Ray is going to be the, the tip of the iceberg of the movement for concussion. I think that his story resonates with a lot of people who've walked his walk as well. And to have it come to light, and now with how we've got our whole you know media system set up now, social media, getting the word out, it's going to be so much easier. And there's MMA, there's boxing, you know, there's almost one of those on every corner of every street in every city. So you can imagine all of those people that are experiencing these things and having somebody that's been there, done that, to be the one that speaks about it. He's the expert in his field. I think it has a lot more um, clout coming from Ray uh, and all of the things that he's done because he was you know, like a 4.0 student. I'm going to say he's like a 4.5, you know, student with his, his acuity and how smart he was. And he noticed, you know, once he started getting punched that he wasn't able to, to focus and concentrate and his grades started to drop. That right there is probably the biggest red flag ever is when your brain's ability to do what it's designed to do and just his, you know, mental acumen as far as how bright and brilliant he was, that whole that whole knob got turned down and, you know, just everything kind of dulled down. I think the more that that information gets dispersed, that other people will see that and they go, yeah, that was me. Or, wow, yeah, I had that happen too. Not only helps them identify, but then also helps set the protocol for the steps that they can take to get better. We want to thank Dr. Treason and Ray Chungalini for their awareness work on post-concussive disorders. Awareness about the many life-disrupting symptoms of brain injury is very much a reality for so many. We appreciate speakers like Ray, who try to get the word out about this problem. But with videos like this, we hope to unite the medical community to continue the advancement of diagnostic and therapeutic protocols. I myself have been collaborating with neurologists and pain management specialists to assess the rampant growth of progressive and acute brain-related conditions, but there's so much work left to be done. For information on our advocacy and research work on brain health and wellness, please visit us at www.painhealersgroup.org.